Hi, how are you today? I'm Shoba and this is Curries for Every Kitchen. The art of this to show anyone can make a simple Indian food in, in your own kitchen. Buying some ingredients from your regular supermarket combining with a few spices from Indian grocery store. Today I'm going to show you a simple basic chicken recipe. While we are getting introduced, I already start, started sauteing one medium chopped onion and one chopped tomato in two spoons of vegetable oil. When the onions are brown and the tomato is softened, I'm going to add homemade curry paste. The ingredients for homemade curry paste are in the recipe section of it. And I'm adding two tablespoons of that. Combine it until it comes. Now, already your kitchen is all filled with nice spice or spicy aroma. Don't let your curry curry paste brown a lot. That becomes bitter. Now we are ready to add our chicken. This is a pound and a half of skinless, boneless chicken. I trimmed off most of the fat and cut it into one inch cubes. I'm going to add it to it, add it to our curry paste. Now, mix it until every piece of chicken is coated with your spice all around. This is very important because you want every piece to be covered with spices and every, every piece cooked in the same consistency of spices. Now sprinkle a little bit of salt. Salt is always to your taste. Little bit of more, whatever I'm putting, you know, just I'm eyeballing here one teaspoon of salt. You can add it more if you like, or you can add it less if you like, or you can totally omit if you don't like. Mix it well until the salt covers all over the chicken. Now, if you like just the medium to mild curry, you stop right here and lower your temperature of your stove and simmer it for six to seven minutes. But if you are adventurous and want to make it a little bit hotter, we're gonna add chili powder. That's red chili powder. It's no spices added to it. It's just a regular chili powder. Or you can use cayenne pepper that you can find it in your grocery store. And that chili powder is also according to your taste. However, the spice tolerance you have. Now I'm putting one large, one and a half of a teaspoon of it. If you think you can handle it, this is going to be very hot curry, but my family can handle hot. For you, if you want to, you can lower any amount, one teaspoon or a half a teaspoon, whatever, like for your spice tolerance. Now mix it well until the chili powder and all the spices coat all over the chicken. Now, lower your stove to medium to low. Cover it and simmer for 7 to 8 minutes. You need to stir it occasionally so the bottom of the bottom spices won't get brown. So they will all cook evenly. We are back and there is our chicken. It's ready. Just before you cut, you turn off the stove, sprinkle quarter teaspoon of garam masala. This is to just just awaken your spices that's simmering for last seven minutes. And stir your chicken. Garnish with fresh 
chopped cilantro. Serve it over cooked white rice and a little bit of store bought plain yogurt. There you have it. You, your own curry chicken that you made in your own kitchen. From start to finish, it took 25 minutes to finish this curry. Less time than you call for you take out. Best of all, you made it your own with your own hands in your own kitchen. Thank you for letting me spice up your chicken.